campaign for investors to reject the domestic debt exchange has intensified. So strong is the campaign that a rejection letter template has been drafted and circulated all over social media. Three business sources at key banks and investment firms, as at the time of this report, say that individual bondholders are not signing on to the program. These are bondholders who bought their bonds through these financial institutions. Some of these institutions held engagement with the bondholders to explain the possible outcomes of not getting onto the program, but they tell three business there was overwhelming rejection of the debt exchange program. Even some banks, according to our sources, are hesitant despite harsh conditions that confront them if they don't sign up for the program. Our sources say besides banks that have significant state shares, just a few other banks have signed on. The financial institutions are still lobbying governments to revise the terms of the exchange program, which is generally considered as very harsh and untenable. Banks together with Bank of Ghana hold about 55% of the bonds. This suggests that even if direct holdings of insurance, SNIT and rural banks are added, government will still require a significant percentage of individual bondholders to sign on in order to have a successful domestic debt exchange program. The dynamics appear not in favor of government as it scrambles to secure a bailout package from the IMF. For three business, Sunny Abdurrahman.